Are you cursed with a small love stake? Well, never fear, gentlemen. Brother Sterling is here to help you out. I'm gonna teach you some penetration secrets you can use even if you have a tiny, minute, barely noticeable pecker. You can still give her some good loving. Let's get stuck into it. My name is Sterling Coover. I'm an award-winning adult film star. I'm a former high-class male companion, believe it or not. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, first things first, you actually can increase the length and girth of your penis. Most people will tell you this is not true, this is impossible. I know it's true because I actually did it. I post proof of it on the internet and I tell you exactly how to do it in my ebook. The link is in the description below if you're curious. So first and foremost, if you can give her an experience that she's never had before, then that is immediately gonna make you stand out and it's gonna make you stand out as one of her best lovers ever. But if you're doing the exact same shit that every other guy is doing, well, then she's gonna start comparing you and she's gonna start, if you're all doing the exact same thing, she's gonna start comparing you on your dick size, right? So first and foremost, you need to stand out and separate yourself from the crowd so that she doesn't even register how big your dick is in the first place. Have you ever met a guy who is like really short I have friends like this who are really short and they pick up a girl and you know they're like five eight or something and then eventually like a few months into the relationship the guy will tell her oh i'm five eight you know right and she'll say something like this and i've been around them when the girls have said something like this you're five eight i thought you were like five eleven they don't even register how tall the dude is because he's so alpha he's so charming he's so dominant that they forget the logic of how tall is this guy actually compared to me? Same principle applies with your cock size. You can give her something she's never had before. She ain't even gonna register how big the damn thing is. And by the way, most women have no fucking clue how long six, seven, eight, or nine inches actually is. If you ask a girl to, uh, you know, move their hands about how big a, like, a seven inch dick is, they're gonna do something like this. They got no fucking clue. So, in the meantime, you can learn a few other skills that you can bring into the into the bedroom. Learn to eat pussy like a total fucking champion. I have some videos on that on this channel. Learn how to properly use a Hitachi. That thing is undefeated in the bedroom. Learn how to tie a girl up. Most women have never had the experience of being put through shibari bondage, and most of them have some kind of a fantasy about experiencing it for the first time. So if you're the person who can give them that, it's gonna make you stand out. Another thing to consider is you are actually lucky for having a smaller dick. What? Yes, you, you lucky motherfucker, can do anal sex far easier than I can. When I whip my dick out, women get scared if I go anywhere near their asshole. But you, with a smaller penis, in particular if you have a thinner one, it's perfect for doing butt stuff. So you, lucky bastard, can go down the forbidden passage without much resistance. Now, adding on to this giving her an experience she's never had before idea, I want you to look at these two things right here. You can consider these to be penises for all useful circumstances. Now, this, this <laughs> is pretty much fatter than any dick she's gonna have, unless she's working with some of my colleagues in the adult entertainment industry. But this, if you can learn how to use your hands properly on a woman, you are going to blow her mind into the stratosphere. Now, in particular, if you learn the correct way to fist a woman, you can hit all kinds of secret sweet spots inside of her that most guys are never gonna come anywhere near using their average size penis. But most importantly, learning how to use your love junk properly is all about the angles. You see, there's certain positions with a shorter penis that you're just not really gonna be able to hit, right? But there's other sex positions, other angles you can use, you can try, you can incorporate, which are really gonna get the job done for you. One really simple one is sliding a pillow under her hips in missionary position propping up her hips at a different angle. It makes it far, far easier for you to hit her G-spot with the head of your penis when the pelvis is tilted that way. 
If you want to learn a few more secret angles you can use in the bedroom, then check out this video right here.